Now we're going to learn how to add comments in a Framer site project. It uh, is extremely easy. You simply click on uh, the C key, such as comment, and as you can see, the cursor is going to change. Now you can uh, go on uh, any area of the website uh, and you can uh, simply click uh, and uh, you can write uh, a comment. Such so in this case, I could uh, write uh, delete this please and uh, I can uh, simply click uh, on uh, the enter keyboard uh, or click over here in order to confirm the comment and as you can see we now have the comment. Now both you and uh, your collaborators have the ability to reply to the comment and uh, you can do it uh, just like that. So to add a reply simply write it here and I will say actually just uh, dismiss this and as you can see we now have uh, another comment uh, which is related to this comment now, we have uh, also some other options you can uh, click uh, and uh, edit uh, the comment so I can add for example an emoji and uh, I can uh, uh, basically enter it by the way I added the emoji using control command and spacebar in case you're wondering and uh, you can also copy the link uh, to this uh, specific comment. So what this uh, is going to do is it's going to copy on your clipboard a link uh, to that specific uh, section of the page so that you can share it uh, directly with uh, your team uh, and um, them clicking on the link uh, is going to redirect them exactly in uh, this specific area. Now you can also resolve the comment once uh, this uh, is done and uh, clicking on resolve uh, there won't be much change in the sense that you're still going to see it over here you won't see it in the canvas uh, and uh, you can always reopen it so that's always an option which uh, you have at your disposal and uh, even once uh, we resolved our comments uh, you're not going to see it uh, by default uh, in the comment section since uh, we're showing only the open comments by default but if you click uh, on uh, this drop down uh, and you select resolved uh, you can now see the comment now on top of that uh, you can uh, use the add key and uh, find uh, team members in this specific uh, scenario we don't have any other team member but uh, you would usually be able to simply use the add key and uh, you would see a drop down uh, with uh, the team members which have been invited uh, to this project uh, so that you can tag them uh, in case it's needed.